All right, guys, I'm here today with the Green Lantern, and this is going to be my first tutorial video in this series. And today we're going to be covering his basic attacks, his strings, his specials, and hit some combos. All right, the first thing I'm going to do here is just put the meter to refill and get started. So the first thing is I'm going to use the notation light, medium, heavy for his attacks and for his trait, I will trait meter burn, I will use one and two respectively. So it's nothing too difficult and you can follow along really easily. So the first thing we're going to be doing is the standing light, the standing medium, the standing heavy, his back light, his back medium, his back heavy. This is a universal wall bounce. Did not mean to do that. You get to see a cool stage interaction though. All right, we'll get back on the side. And forward, medium. Forward heavy, which is the universal ground bounce. Crouching light. Crouching medium, which is the universal uppercut. And crouching heavy, which is the universal sweep. And we have his air light. is air medium and is air heavy which causes a little juggle state that you can combo afterwards. Now for his strings we have light medium which is a three hit string light medium heavy We have back light medium, which is a overhead. We have back light heavy, which is his mid launcher. We have medium medium. Medium medium heavy. And then medium medium heavy light. We have forward, medium, down, crouching light, which is another overhead. And we have forward, medium, crouching light, standing heavy. We have back, medium, standing heavy. And finally, we have back, medium, standing heavy, standing heavy. Now, those are all of his strings. Um, next, I'll show you just the, what their properties were. Um, back, light, medium is a overhead. The last hit is a overhead, I should say. Light, medium, heavy is a high. The last hit is a high. And his forward, medium, down, light is a overhead as well. Every other string ends in a mid. So keep that in mind when you're practicing your mids and trying to go for setups and 
all that good stuff. Now we're on to his specials. Back, forward, light. This is rocket, projectile, which can also be done in the air. The meter burn version looks like this. And can get a combo off of it. The meter burn can only be done in the on the ground. You cannot do it in the air. But the air version of the rocket is a overhead, so they have to block it high. Or standing, I should say. Next we have quarter circle back Y, which is a rocket toss. If you hold, I'll move back a little bit, if you hold back after you do the quarter circle back Y motion, you get close rockets. Once you can see the difference, I'll show you the normal rockets. And then if you do quarter circle back Y forward, you get the far reaching rockets. So we'll do it in order of closest, second closest, then furthest. In the meter burn version, throws another rocket. And if you do this move and you catch them in the air, you can get a ring grab if they're close enough. Alright, speaking of the ring grab, it is course go back X. This is his most important move for his combos. It can be used as an anti-air. And let's see, what's next? His back forward Y. Or his backboard medium, I should say, is his mini gun. And if you do the meter burn version of that, you get that. We have his, I think they call it turbine smash, we'll check really quick. So I'm not giving you wrong information. Yep, turbine smash. Alright. All this is back forward A. Eh? Can do it in the air as well. And the meter version burn of it looks like this, which is a projectile. You cannot do it in the air. Oh, I, oh, you can do it in the air. I did not know that. I learned something myself. This move is to help you make up for the lack of an air dash, which I think is kind of crazy that the Green Lantern can fly, but he can't air dash in this game. You know, he can fly in the comics and all that stuff, but he can't get a air dash. So this makes up for it, helps you with certain matchups like Deathstroke, trying to get in, you know, if you time it right, you can um, make it relatively safe if you Time right, you will end the same time that the guns end, and you'll come down and you can't punish you. And that's about it for his special moves. Next, we'll go on to his tray, which is a which is one, as I said earlier, for our notation that I'll be using. And what it does is for a period of time, it gives his moves uh, different effects, and I think an increased damage bonus. That was 6%, so it gives it a little bit of a damage boost. And um, he is one of the few characters that can cancel his trait. So as you see here, I'll show you the full animation. And then I'll show you the animation cancels. Alright, now that's important, like I showed you right there into the ring grab, because that's how most of his combos are done. And I should not say most, that's how all of his combos are being done. So, what I'll do is I'll show you the combo, then I'll break it down with notation. First part of the combo is 
back light standing on a standing heavy. Now you cancel this into your tray and you cancel your tray into the rain grab. Next up after you have the ring grab, you do the string medium, medium, heavy into another ring grab, but for this ring grab, you use the meter burn. So after you get the ring grab, you get that. Now after the wall bounce, you do back heavy, which is the wall bounce. So the combo so far should look like this. Now after the wall bounce, I'm going to walk forward a little bit. This is the toughest part. As you can see, I missed the combo the first time that I tried to do it. You're going to walk forward a little bit, go back to neutral, then do the medium, medium, heavy string again into another ring grab, and that's the end of your combo. So hopefully, it'll look like this. it again. There we go. Now like I said the toughest part is just getting forward a little bit and hitting the um, medium medium heavy string. That is the toughest part of the combo. Um, and that does 32%. So again the full notation is back white back light, standing heavy, into the ring, cancel the ring into quarter circle back, light, then with, you get the little ground bounce because of the ring, you do medium, medium, heavy, into quarter circle back light, with meter burn, into back A, then you walk forward a little bit, and do medium, medium, heavy, or circle back, like 10, the kind of gets you 32%. Next up, we're going to do one of his overall combos. It can be used as an anti-air combo. It can be used as just like throwing it out there from a safe distance. So what it is, is quarter circle back, light, meter burn to this. Now I'll walk through the notation. So the first part's pretty simple. All you do is the quarter circle back, light, with meter burn, into back heavy. After the back heavy, you're going to do jumping medium, land, medium, medium, heavy, into quarter circle back light. And then that's you 30% damage. Now that is a one of the combos that you're just gonna wanna throw out because if you're like right here, you know, or right there, max distance for your aim, you can just throw it out there. And relatively easy if you catch your opponent jumping, you can throw that out and get 30% damage and kind of force your opponent into what kind of style of match you want to play. Next we have another anti-air combo. And I'll just do this really quick. Then I'll explain the rotation. Hmm. This is an anti-air combo that's off of his down medium, which is his uppercut. And the hardest thing about this is timing the trade cancel to get the ring grab, as you saw I missed it the first time. So the first part of the combo is down, medium, into cancel that into trade, then 
cancel that into quarter circle back wire. After you get that, it's pretty much the same as the first combo I showed you, where it's medium, medium, heavy, into quarter circle back, light with meter burn, back heavy, medium, medium, light, quarter circle back. And that nets you 27%. Um, another thing that is very useful is if you see your opponent in the air and you have time to activate the ring into grab, you can do that and it gets you a little bit extra damage. I think it gets you 35. But that's about it for all those combos. Next we'll go on to kind of strategy, I guess. This is how I use Green Lantern. After I get the initial combo, um, let's say I just get, let's say I get this. Into the ring grab. Next I want to think, next my thought process is, how can I open them up to get my next hit? Well, you have three options in what I consider the Green Lantern Vortex. You have his error, you have an air attack. The one that I use is the air light. It's very ambiguous, you just gotta get the time done. Because it will miss. This really works well on bigger characters. But once you get the time down, you can land in front, or you can land in back. Next you have his back light standing heavy, which is an overhead, which no one seems to block yet. So everyone assumes that you're going to be going for that launcher again, so you get pretty much a free overhead. Or you can do that, which is also a free overhead. And if you do that, you get a, uh, if you do forward heavy with uh, two, which is the meter burn, you get one hit of armor, and that's, you know, it's like, I'm going to do this, and you can't do anything about it. Um, I haven't worked on what you can do with that, but I'm sure you can, you get a ground bounce so you can get a full combo off of it. And finally, you have the most obvious option is his launcher into a combo. You want to mix these up throughout the entire time. This causes Green Lantern hard to block. Um, if you mix that in with his launcher, his jumping, uh, flight attack, and overheads, he becomes very hard to block. You keep your opponent guessing on their toes, and you keep them from pressing buttons. One thing you're going to have to wake up for is certain characters that have wake up supers that are uh, pretty much unblockable, like Solomon Grundy's grab. You're going to have to keep an eye out for that. But with Green Lantern, it's all about playing the zoning game until you can move in and do your damage. So if you're out here, you want to be throwing rockets. Trying to get in, or trying to keep someone out. It depends on how you want to play Green Lantern. You can try to like zone them out until you get in, or zone them and keep them out and keep them jumping to use a ring grab. And then once you get that first initial ring grab, you can either spend the meter to do that combo that I showed you into that, or you can just do the ring grab into his vortex and get something going with that, you know, like, oh, there's an overhead. But that covers it for the ring lantern tutorial, sorry for the couple of mistakes, um, still very early in the game itself, myself, but uh, I hope you guys learned something with this, and I hope I see more green lanterns. Until next time, see you later.